think it happened somewhere in this area uh, and the lightning probably traveled up the phone line that you see there. We're in the backyard uh, in Brander Mill. One of my really close friends' houses, we had a cookout that day. It was a Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, 2010. Uh, we went to church that day. I remember leaving church and then I woke up on Thursday in the hospital. That's pretty much how that day went from what my memory is. Uh, I've been told that came home, came over to a friend's house. We lived right next door. Uh, had a cookout, eating brats, doing the Memorial Day thing that us Americans do. Playing some cornhole in the backyard. Storm came up. We all ran inside, uh, waited the storm out. Once it uh, stopped thunder and lightning, we came back outside and we didn't wait 30 minutes after the last thunder, which I would suggest you always do. <laughs> and shortly after we came back out, there was a lightning strike and my uh, friend and I who lives, owns this house, standing beside each other. I clasped my ears and fell to the ground. He had ringing in one ear, we're standing right beside each other and then my heart had basically stopped at that point. I was out of work for about two months, just trying to get back in the swing of things. Memory was a big concern right after it happened. Uh, I have a notebook of notes I was writing to my wife because I was intubated and couldn't talk for the week in the hospital. Just kept asking what happened, what happened, what happened, because I didn't remember anything. I had some Bell's palsy uh, for about a week and a half. So half of my face kind of lost movement and then just kind of slowly getting back up to strength. Lots of muscle tension from the, the lightning. Every muscle in your body tenses up. To this day, when I drive long distances in the car, my feet hurt from the lightning and I just have to wake them up. So it's, it's still an ongoing process. Feels like I'm standing on hot asphalt sometimes. It's not worth messing with because I, I know it doesn't happen often and it's not something you hear every day, but when it happens, it's pretty dramatic. I am very, very lucky and blessed to even be here that the lightning didn't hit me directly. And if it would, there would have been no chance. Uh, I definitely have the luxury of right next door. Uh, my neighbor, Courtney is a nurse. Her husband saw the event happen, told her to come out right away, and she, she saved my life because she started CPR within minutes of the occurrence. Uh, ambulance was here within about 10 minutes, shocked me three times to get me back going again. And without her or without them, wouldn't be standing here talking today 